Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so before I get started, uh, I posted um, a video yesterday or two days ago with me in my new uh, area and I asked um, what you guys saw the lightings and a lot of you said that I guess I do need lights. Um, right now I can't really afford really nice studio lighting so what I'm going to do is go out to Home Depot and try to DIY some studio lights. But I changed the settings on my camera and it looks like it's a little bit brighter than what the last video was. So if you guys can let me know maybe if this works for you, um, then that would be helpful. That way I don't go spend money on lights that I don't need right now. So, I mean it does look lighter to me, but like I said, what I see is different than what you all see. So yeah, if I can just get some feedback on that, please let me know. Okay, so today's video is going to be um, my first video in a series of videos that I want to, you know, continue to do one each month, which is going to be the pattern showdown where I take two similar patterns from different pattern companies and compare them against one another. And then I'll let you know my thoughts on which one I think um, would be the best pattern to get if you're interested in one of these. So I've had this idea, you know, in my mind for a while because I've noticed that like a lot of pattern companies um, release similar patterns all at the same time, right? So for a while it was like body suits and now it seems to be like overalls, like um, closet case patterns just released their um, overall patterns. I know that Tilly and the Buttons just released one, you know, a couple months ago, the Mila Dungarees. And so I just thought, you know, instead of going out and buying all these patterns every time that they get released, I figured maybe if you guys hadn't bought them and you were kind of on the fence deciding which one you wanted to get, maybe I could compare them and then you guys can make that decision on which one you'd rather have instead of going out and buying both of them because I understand that patterns can get kind of pricey. So um, today's video is going to be uh, the Megan Nielsen Rowan versus the Closet Case Patterns Netty Body Suit. So if you guys are interested in seeing these two compared to each other and which one I think is the better of the two, then keep on watching. Okay, so I have five criteria that I'm going to be comparing these two on. The first one is the sizing and the fit. Well, that's one. So sizing slash fit. Um, how well the instructions are written, um, if there's a sew along, and then if that sew along adds any value. Um, how many options that you get, and I may um, actually add on like option slash hackability, if that's where like how easy the pattern would be to hack. And the last one is avail availability, like PDF versus print, because I know some people would rather have a PDF version and others would have a printed version. Um, so yeah, alright, so I'm going to show you the ones that I made. So I made... Um, so this is my Netty bodysuit. I made this out of a cotton lycra um, fabric. It is white with black stripes. And I bought this fabric from Raspberry Creek Fabrics. Um, if I can find the fabric, I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below. And the version I made is obviously the one with the long sleeves. It has the large um, scoop back and it has the built-in bra. The Rowan bodysuit that I made was View 6, which is, you know, the long sleeve bodysuit, obviously, that's what I'm comparing with the, um, I guess you would call this a turtleneck, with the turtleneck. This fabric um, came from Fancy Tiger Crafts. Um, I know that they don't have this in stock anymore because I bought this fabric a while ago, and they are... Um, their site doesn't like continue to like restock it looks like every time I buy something from them and they sell out they're sold out they don't carry it anymore but um, this one I've had in my stash for probably like a good year and I know that she does um, restock fabrics raspberry creek fabrics can be found on Etsy and they also have a standalone um, website so I'll be sure to link those down in the description all right so let's get started um, sizing and fit so we'll start with the Rowan the Rowan. <laughs> so I measured at a size small and I sewed the size small and it fit perfectly. Um, oh, let me go tell you what the size ranges are. So the size range from extra small to extra large. Okay, and I, I measured at a size small and I sewed a size small and it fit perfect, hands down, no problem. It wasn't too tight, like it wasn't sticking to me, which is what I wanted. It wasn't like super baggy and loose. 
Um, and I love it. The length of the sleeves was good. The length of the body was good. Um, for ready to wear body seats, I have a real issue. I don't know, maybe if my torso is a bit longer than um, the audience that they sew for, but every time I go to try on a body suit, I say like Forever 21 or H&M or Target, like it always is short in the body. Like I always feel kind of scrunched like this or the back is like up my butt. Sorry, I know it's TMI, but it's, it's the truth. They're always, like, they're not long enough for my torso. But the length of the Megan Nielsen um, is perfect for me. Um, I'm 5'4", so if you're probably, if you're a bit taller, you know, because um, I know Amanda from I Sew A Lot, she's mentioned that she had to add an inch to the torso, and I think she's um, a couple inches taller than me. So if you're 5'4", um, this would probably work out really well for you. Alright, so the fit and sizing for the Nettie bodysuit. Her sizes range from size 0 to size 20, so you do get a few more options um, for sizing in this um, pattern. So I'm going to say for the bust measurement, it goes from 31 to 46, and the bust measurement on the Megan Nielsen goes from 34 to 42. So if you um, if your bust measures larger than a 42, I would go with the Netty. But caution, I did have issues with the bodysuit for the Netty bodysuit. So I measured at the size six and I sewed the size six. And uh, two things: the main one was the armhole was very very tight. Um, I couldn't lift my arms up, and then when I went to go, you know, pull it on and then lift my arm, because it was so tight, it ended up tearing some of the stitches, and it was very uncomfortable. Um, the sleeves are very, very tight as well. So, if I were to make this again, I'd probably have to go up a couple of sizes, because it ended up being much smaller um, than what I was anticipating, and a little bit uncomfortable. It was very difficult to put on. It was, like, it was very tight to put on. Unlike the Megan Nielsen, which just went on, you know, flawlessly. Um, so, but the length of it is very good. Um, I had no issues with it being, you know, like this. <laughs> uh, the torso was a good length. So, I mean, as lengthwise, it was a good, it, it was a good, <laughs> it's good. But, um, like I said, you know, in the chest wise and the underarm and the arms, it's very tight. So, um, when it comes to this criteria of sizing and fit, I give this point to the Rowan. <laughs> okay, next is the instructions. So, um, well actually, let's go ahead with the sew along just real quick. So, I looked everywhere and I could not find um, a sew along for the Rowan. I looked on her website and it says sew along. But it wasn't like what I'm used to seeing on blogs where it's like, okay, so for this day, we're going to gather your supplies. And the next day, we're going to go over, you know, how to sew the bodice together, then how to add the sleeves, you know, so on and so forth, where they take you step by step. Um, I think her sew along was maybe only one or two entries. It wasn't as in-depth as the um, netty. So the netty bodysuit, the sew along was great. Um, I used that sew along. I, like, referred back to it, you know, plenty of times when I didn't understand what the instructions were telling me. So, for the sew along, um, it's going to be the nitty bodysuit. However, the instructions on the Megan Nielsen one were so well written that I didn't even need a sew along. So, instructions I'm going to give to the Rowan. Okay, next are your options. And what I mean by options is, like, you know, how many different um, views that you get. So, with the nitty, it looks um, like you just get the dress and a bodysuit. So but I think the bodysuit has two back options. So um, you get three three views for the netty. So you get um, a dress and then you get the bodysuit with the um, scoop front and medium back scoop and three quarter sleeves. And the second bodysuit is the high neck with the low back and the short sleeves. So I did the high neck, low back, and then just took the long sleeves from the dress and put it on here because that's what I wanted. Okay. And then for the Megan Nielsen Rowan, you actually get six options. So you get um, a regular like scoop neck or crew neck t-shirt with short sleeves, 
a v-neck shirt with three quarter inch sleeves, a turtleneck with long sleeves, um, and then a bodysuit that coincides with all of them for, for a total of six. Um, so also with a Megan Nielsen, you could probably hack it to have like the, uh, sorry. <laughs> for the Megan Nielsen one, you could probably hack the back to make it um, long, like a big scoop out like the netty. Because that's what attracted me to the netty was the scoop back. So I've been wanting a shirt like this for a long time. So, um, yeah, I would say for options and, like, hackability and whatnot. Because you could also add, like, a skirt to this as well. So, because um, I saw that Jessica Lorraine, um, she, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she made a dress where she used the uh, netty top with the Monita skirt. Um, you, could, you could do that with, you know, the Rowan so for your options, the options that are given to you, I would definitely choose the Rowan over the Netty. All right, and the last one is availability, so PDF versus print. Both of these patterns come in a PDF and a print version. Um, so, you know, I they both get a point for that, I guess. So um, with all that said, while I do like you know, the net, the style of the Nettie bodysuit. I love the low scoop. Um, I love that it has a built-in bra, which um, I have a question to ask you guys at the end, so let me, I'll ask you that later. But yeah, so I mean, I do like the style of the Nettie, but um, the instructions were a little bit difficult to follow if I didn't have the sew along, and the fit of it was just not as good as the Rowan. So between the two, um, I give my vote to the Megan Nielsen Rowan. That's, that's the one I think is the, <laughs> the better of the two. Okay, um, so this is my first showdown video, so I would like some feedback. Um, one, again, like the lighting. Do you think this lighting works, or do you think I still need to get lights? Um, two, I really wanted to wear these to show you guys, um, so you see what they look like on a body, but like when I'm comparing the two, I didn't want to keep changing in and out of... Um, the garments, especially because this one's so difficult to get on. So would you guys find it helpful if I did like an intro of me like walking around and wearing the garment so you guys can see it on a body and then um, do the sit down portion like this? Um, instead of like, you know, me changing into one, comparing it, changing, and then changing, and then changing. So I think maybe an intro would be helpful, so let me know. And then, um, this is a sewing related question. So, when I was doing the netty bodysuit, you have to sew in like foam cups into the self bra. But the foam cups that I bought, I bought at Joanne, I think they're like the Dritz uh, brand, gave like a really weird shape to the boob <laughs> area, it made them really like pointy, if that makes sense. It was not flattering at all, and I couldn't really mold them because they were so hard. Like, I even washed them to try to soften them up, and it was, it was just like, just really hard molded cups that I couldn't figure out how to make look nice, make the chest area <laughs> look nice. So I was wondering if you all had tips on um, if there was a way to soften them up and I just didn't know how to, or if you guys make um, things with foam cups, do you have a specific brand or a place that you buy them from? Because like I said, I really do like, you know, the big open back, but I can't wear this with a bra. And unfortunately, my chest is too small to where, like, if I didn't have any shaping, I would just look like a boy. <laughs> so, yeah, I would really like to know um, if you guys have any specific um, brands or place where you buy them from. Uh, please, you know, let me know. All right, and then also if you found this video helpful. So next month, um, I'm going to be doing dresses. It's going to be the... So over at 1940s tea dress versus the simple so Amelia tea dress and yeah I'm really looking forward to that one because it's getting warm outside so I can start wearing dresses again and if you have any patterns that you would like to see you know compared to one another and or um, any other criteria that you like to see compared so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend bye